All right, this has got to be the third or fourth attempt at this video. Um, I keep having technical difficulties, um, alarms. Anyway, we're living in a time of flux, in a time of change, um, where not necessarily just a one-time change, but I mean in a, a time of flux. Uh, Let's just go to Hori here, because Hori, gray or white, with or as if with age, bowed his Hori head. Um, so Hori has to do with old and gray, okay? And the Hori head. again it has to do it it shows age so when you talk about the hoary head it's talking about a gray head yes but um, one that comes with age and generally if you have some age hopefully you have experience and wisdom at the same time so I was reading proverb proverbs this morning and for some reason I actually decided to pull out my King James and I have not been reading my King James as much lately um, honestly I have been using the children's living Bible and this is a paraphrased um, one that was done in the 70s and it's out of print, but I actually really like this version because, well, you know what? I'm just going to go to Genesis 6 and um, explain to you why I really like this version because it's one of the few that spells things out plainly here. Okay, Genesis 6, verse 1. Now a population explosion took place upon the earth it was at this time that beings from the spirit world looked upon the beautiful earth women and took any they desired to be their wives. Then Jehovah said, My spirit must not forever be disgraced in man, wholly evil as he is. I will give him one hundred and twenty years to mend his ways. In those days, and even afterwards, when the evil beings from the spirit world were sexually involved with human women, their children became giants, of whom so many legends are told. When the Lord God saw the extent of human wicked, wickedness, and that the trend and direction of men's lives were only towards evil, he was sorry. He had made them, and it broke his heart. So then he goes on to tell about, I'm going to blot out from the face of the earth all mankind that I created. Yes, the animals too, and the reptiles and the birds, for I am sorry I made them. And then he says, but Noah was a pleasure to the Lord. And here is the story of Noah. And I'm not going to go on further, but boy, that spells out pretty directly um, the whole story with the Nephilim and the giants or the Nephilim being the giants, but directly saying that the beings from the spirit world, we can take that as angels, well, they came and they had relations with the earth women and they had giants. And this children's version spells it out nicely, so I like that. And anyway, so I was, um, I have been reading this even for the Proverbs that I read pretty much on a daily basis I read the one that corresponds to the day so today being the 19th um, I was reading the 19th chapter but sometimes I'll read the one behind or also the one ahead and today I actually read the one behind because um, I didn't read it yesterday and then I read today's and then I also read 20 so I read three of them and I came across a verse that 
I, I have read before. <laughs> uh, and for some reason, it didn't look right to me, okay? And it's Proverbs 20, 29. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. Now, uh, I will just say right off the bat, here too that the Bible that I was reading the printed Bible says this but gray is actually spelled G-R-E-Y um, however I remember it saying the hoary head and I, I mean I've read the King James my uh, my whole life. Now, obviously, let's see, KJV standard 1611. Let's see what it says here. Um, which is interesting. What is this? KJV standard. Hmm. Standard King James Version. Well, I didn't know there, I get, well, actually I did know, but it's kind of interesting the way they do these things, right? Using archaic English. Of course it uses archaic English. And this is one of the weird things about um, some of these changes um, that you actually see taking place on a physical page as well as whatever. And I'm sorry. I, I was looking at something else here and I'm getting confused. What do I want here? I want, come on, where are you, Proverbs? Good grief. <laughs> 20. Oh, man. 1611. Come on, Proverbs chapter. Here we go. Or was it 19? Oh, man. It's so difficult. I like just having the... Uh... Well, anyway, now I can't find what I wanted, of course, while I'm doing the video. So, the glory of young men is their strength, <clears throat> and the beauty of old men is the hoary head should have just gone right there. The only one I could find it in was this JPS Tanakh. Now I wanted to go through the search because of course you're gonna say well you could have gone to any of them right? Well no actually I couldn't here and let me just do this while I'm videoing it. I'm gonna copy this we'll go back up here We'll put this in. Okay. We're going to get that. Bible Hub. Okay. Hmm. Well, what in the world happened? Let's go. Search. So we have all these different ones, right? Gray hair, gray hair, gray, gray, gray hair, gray hair, gray, 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 gray hair. It, it they're all talking about gray hair. And <clears throat> The gray hair has to do with also being old. Yes, old men and their gray hair, but it, it has to do with wisdom. And here's the silver hair. 
Now see, the glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the hoary head. I remember that one so clearly, um, but the only one that it is is the JPS Tanakh of 1917? I mean, how is this possible? Because I don't remember this ever. Like, this version is a new one to me. I mean, maybe this is something that is manifesting because everybody remembers this, therefore it has to be somewhere, right? I mean, the AI is getting smart. And it, it has to put it in somewhere, I guess, because these memories won't go away. So then they're going to try to fake us into thinking, well, look at this. Here it is. You know, don't you remember it was always in the JPS Tanakh? <laughs> As if I had that growing up. But that's what this this artificial intelligence is going to want us to believe right and every other one is gray gray so we're going to just look at gray is it gray or gray hmm and look at your printed bible or whatever gray and gray two different spellings of the same word right both are used throughout the english speaking world gray or gray and aren't we seeing that today? Well, you could be, you know, you can be whatever you want to be. You can be a unicorn. You can be a woman. You can be a man. You could be both at the same time. And actually, there actually have been uh, real to like hermaphrodites throughout the, they've been recorded for a long time and that was actually something you know maybe I had it implanted in me but I do remember hermaphrodites uh, but this whole trans thing of going back and forth it's it's this gray right it's a color that is neither black or white and it falls on the color palette somewhere between black and white gray or gray is considered a neutral color or one often used to complement a brighter one. Interesting. Though there are many different shades of gray or shades of gray and different colors available. So just listen to gray here and why is gray changing? So I was thinking about this. Um, why did I see gray? And then it brought to mind Dorian Gray and the portrait of Dorian Gray. Now I was, I have a special connection. This is one of those things where um, I actually have a special connection to this ME, which makes it interesting because um, I used to speak with this this old woman she was so wonderful and so wise but I spoke with her and she turned me on to this book a long time ago the portrait of Dorian Gray um, so anyway it has to do with a portrait that was painted by someone it was painted by one man given to another and the guy whose portrait was painted um, his sins and his um, all his discrepancies went into this painting and this painting changed but it couldn't be revealed and it's kind of like um, it's what we portray to other people right what what do we portray to those around us and how real are we and all that sort of a thing so right now this this gray I wish I could remember yes gray considering it sophisticated 
and others are less tolerant of the gray, finding it gloomy or dull. May also be used as a synonym for being aged, referring to the silver hair, white hair of an older person, gray hair or gray hair. See, and it's this thing is even distinguishing there's both. Synonymous for great age, right? Well, many women are going gray or going gray in order to preserve the natural color of one's hair is becoming more and more common. Gray water is not suitable for human consumption. Interesting. The spelling gray is usually reserved for an American audience. Now listen to that. Gray, G-R-A-Y, is usually, yes it says usually, reserved for an American audience while the spelling gray is more common in British English. It is the United Kingdom, for instance, or in the United Kingdom, for instance, gray is the top preference in usage. So that's the top one. That's the one that the aristocracy would use, right? And appears about 20 times for every instance of gray. In the U.S., the ratio is reversed. Now, I always remember Dorian Gray. For sure, I remember Dorian Gray, G-R-E-Y, and it was the portrait of Dorian Gray. Oh, this was the same article, and I, I wish I would remember that. Anyway, Dorian Gray, the picture of Dorian Gray. Here is one, Amazon, right? A portrait of Dorian Gray, but then the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, 1890. It is very, very difficult to find. Look, and here, this is even supposed to be a facsimile of uh, first published complete in July 1890 issue of Lippincott's monthly magazine. So see they were they thought it was indecent and they deleted roughly 500 words before publication. The picture of Dorian Gray. Okay, I remember it as the portrait. Now, the picture of Dorian Gray doesn't make sense because this was a portrait that it's talking about the entire time in the book. It was a painting. It was a portrait done of a man. So, let's just go on here. This is the only one I've been able to find. For some reason, here on Amazon, there's a portrait of Dorian Gray. But then, it's the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, right? Um, it doesn't really make sense. To me. Now, if I add this to my cart, let's see what happens. Okay, added to cart. Let's see. Proceed to checkout. Oh, come on. I'm not going to do that right now. Now, come on. Besides, I always go through my parents because <laughs> they have Prime and I don't. Um, let's see. If I go to, man, cart. What's in my cart? Interesting. So see, there it is. This is what I remember. Portrait of, but I remember gray. G-R-E-Y. Oh, man. So anyway, it's in flux here because I can't find this anywhere else. Everywhere else is 
G-R-A-Y, and it's all a picture. No matter what, even when I go to, let's see, we'll just go to the next page, and then <clears throat> we'll try to find the portrait. In fact, let's just go, we'll put it in quotes, quote, Portrait of Dorian G R E Y. Okay, so look, Al, I don't know what this is. A Portrait of Dorian Gray by Drew Simon Alsheim. Download it. So there's one, apparently. Let's just look. And it's actually G-R-E-Y, a portrait of Dorian Gray. There it is. Okay. Um, oh, man. This, for some reason, what is this? This is about a bird? Oh my goodness. And of course, wouldn't you know it's a parrot? Because the AI, oh. It's enter the laughter, of course. Because this is just a parrot that's going to mock you. Ah, yep, yep, you remember right. Ah. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, a portrait of Dorian Gray. Why did this dude write this? What? Hold on. Now I'm learning this at the same time with you all. This is what's so odd about this. And this program that I'm using to do screen captures used to limit me to 10 minutes. However, now all of a sudden it's giving me as long as I want, apparently. I guess they decided to make the free one even better when you upgraded to Windows 10, even though I had to. Um, interesting. Anyway, this is all just so amazing to me because I just did this to you, uh, with you all. And here it is, a portrait of Dorian Gray, but it has nothing to do. It's basically about some guy, some other guy, and his bird or something, you know, I don't even know, but why in the world, oh my goodness, okay, so I'm getting laughed at, I'm going to just pull back out of here, boop, and see everything else is share on Twitter, okay, The portrait was a reflection of his soul. Well, yes, the portrait of Dorian Gray was a reflection of his soul, and it was gruesome and bitter, and look at all the demons there, and the multiple faces within the face, and the, the souls that he has taken from everything. Of course this was. But this, okay, so Cher, is this, what? This is... Okay, well, I don't know if this is actually Cher, but if she's putting this out there, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, so Cher knows it's the portrait of Dorian Gray. Of course it is. It's nothing other, nothing other than that. Okay, oh my goodness. This is just... I'm learning with you all guys. This is amazing to me because here we get a picture of Dorian Gray. And then of course we'll get this is the is this the American version or what am I seeing here? You know, it's hard to know because we we are experiencing flux and we are experiencing the Bible changing and uh <laughs> Dorian Gray you see, you can find both. 
and so I don't know if this is uh, maybe portrait goes with gray and picture goes with gray was there maybe some kind of a an American version and an English version perhaps you know I don't know I can't seem to figure that out like but it all seems to lead back to roughly 1890. Um, but what I think is more simply that we're just in a time of flux and we see this and people are confused. I'm definitely confused sometimes and most of the time. So I, I mean, I'm confused, but I'm not. I know I sound confused right now because I'm looking at this and, you know, it's confusing. It's confusing for anybody. So then when you go and you start talking about this stuff and you're like, hey, bro, I think this and that and whatever. <laughs> it could be something totally different from one day to the next and they're never going to know and I'm never going to know. Amazing the way that turns out, right? Okay, so anybody, everybody. Anybody that's made it this far, 26 minutes into this, check it out. We are in a time of flux. Um, I do believe the Bible has been doing different odd things. Um, <laughs> I did not ever know... Um, whatever Bible version that was, the, uh, well, where is it here? Well, we'll just back up right here. The glory of young men is their strength and the beauty of old men is the hoary head. I remember that is King James, but it apparently it's not it's the gray head and that's a recent change but we are in a time of flux right because gray is neither white nor black it's neither this or that and it all depends upon where you're at is does that mean that everything is relative and that's what we have to look forward to or do we still know things are right and wrong I think the latter I think we still know what's right and wrong. So, God bless, stay strong, and give it your all. Because what else are you going to do? Just roll over? <laughs> I mean, rolling over can be kind of fun sometimes. And not it, it. sometimes you just have to give in and, and start laughing and go, my goodness. All right, let me try some things out here. Like Rigo was talking about, oh, check this out. It's blue, it's white, it's red. Oh no. So then I give this guy some money and I tell him, should I just tell him it's a hundred bucks and give me some change? Of course. <laughs> Sometimes, maybe. I don't even know anymore. I mean, I'm trying to be honest. I try to be honest, actually. I've, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about it, but try to be honest, y'all. I think for some reason, there's always something watching you maybe it is the who knows what but God always knows and you know what you did too right you know what you did so yeah trip on all that stay strong have a great night and uh, I'll talk to you soon